Hi Taurus, it's Jay from Angels and Ancestors. First of all, darlings, if I'm croaky, I do apologise. Um, I've still got a chest infection from last month and they've just started to treat it. It's making me a bit croaky. Darlings, this is your... <coughs> Sorry, loves. This is your What the Fuck reading, 21st. So I'm doing it up to the 28th of February. Um... <clears throat> the reason for that is I want to start every month on the 1st. So the last reading of every month is just going to be that little bit longer. Um, just because I want to start the readings from you from the 1st of each month. It's much easier for me to keep track of where I am. So let's get your energy card out. I want to thank everybody for being here. Those who are returning, thank you so much for your support. For those of you that are new, know that you are more than welcome. Um, if you like what I do, hit the like button. If you don't like what I do, um, hit the dislike button. Um, if there is one, I think I read somewhere that they've taken it away. Um, hit the share button for me if you've got time. Um, but subscribe and hit the, the bell beside it for reminders but the other thing that I really love I do put stuff on the community page to pop over there and have a look but the other thing is I love to get messages and the more I say I love to get messages the less messages I'm getting um, and I'm kind of like where's everybody gone because I was getting quite a few messages every week um, from various different star signs it wasn't the same ones every week but yeah, I'm just like, really? Oh, my angel fell over again. Let's put a little bit of wax on her BT. I don't know what's going on with her. She keeps falling over. Well, probably because there's old wax on her. Let's have a look. Does that work? Oh, that's a bit better. Um, <coughs> yeah, anyway, wind over. Oh, yeah, just one other thing. Um, be aware that... Uh, my internet is absolutely shocking. The internet provider is doing nothing about it. Um, and it's taking hours. I was really lucky at the weekend. I managed to get Scorpio up in four hours. Whereas um, the fire signs um, and cancer took 15 hours each. Um, I'm well not impressed with this at all. So, my lovelies... Wow, look at this. I've not seen this before. Number 31. In the hand, the universe is your partner, Taurus. Wow. That is a specific message, isn't it? <coughs> the universe likes to work with us. Whether you believe in the law of attraction or not, the universe surrounds us. Um, it is just that vast place where any possibilities can happen if you have the faith and the trust that it will happen but just know it's there with you it's there oh wow look at this so the universe is your partner understand that when I when I'm talking about the universe and I use the term divine or I use the term the source I see that as being one of the same thing um, I know the universe is this vast place out there, but I don't believe that the divine or the source is just in one corner of it. I believe that it's all over. So I tend to use the universe to cover everybody's beliefs. And I do sometimes go down the route of the divine or the source if I am so guided to by the guides to do that. That's because there's something specific there. There's somebody who has got a particular divine or a source that they can tap into the reading. When I use the universe, it's more of an umbrella term. Um, and for me, the universe includes the quantum field, it includes the quantum healing, it includes the source, it includes us, it includes all of the planets that work with us, um, and especially the planets that go into blooming retrograde. <coughs> they are especially mercury i should love mercury shouldn't i? I should make it more positive but after this last last lot 
and uh, we're still in don't get out uh, get into the idea that mercury when it came into going direct um i think it was the fourth or the fifth of february you then have a good couple of weeks where it's still in shadow and so although it is going direct it doesn't feel like it's going completely direct for a couple of weeks number 23 fortunes will luck and right timing um and what i heard right at the end of that when i first read it was it's now it's on your side it is now the universe is partnering with you because they know that this time is important for you this luck is important and the time is now wow beautiful cards so taurus what started the what the fuck for you for this week eight days whatever it is it's eight days isn't it drop the whole lot then so facing your fears and taking your power back your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why it may be fucked Your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. That's what you can do about the situation. What you can't do about the situation. Reconnecting to your true self. And your outcome darling so <coughs> I'm so sorry Taurus I'm oh, honestly croaky or what so what well, started your what the fuck is nature this is my self restriction card this is my self limiting card and um, sometimes I get the essence that um, people may be um, or you may be feeling that somebody is trying to trap you by setting a trap. Um, but I'm not getting that essence. I'm getting that you are setting traps for yourself. And you need to release them. You need to let go of whatever it is that is restricting your growth. Restricting what it is that you believe. And then go with the bear and dance with the wood nymphs. Because the bear saying, Jack, put my bloody paw in that trap. I'm not doing it. Um... <coughs> And the releasing of that trap um, will release you from what's binding you, from what's holding you back or holding you down. The universe is your partner and luck is on your side. And the universe is, is partnering with you. It does it all the time, but it is really um, different this time. It's really quite strong. And I'm kind of getting that you are getting that pull, you are getting that feel. It may be that you are receiving random messages or you're seeing random things that don't mean anything to you until you sort of sit down and go, oh, hold on a second. They're telling you the time is now to let go of what binds you, let go of what's holding you back, the self-restriction. Um, it's the cleansing and the clearing that you need to be doing. You need to figure out where the binding is coming from are you doing it to yourself is it coming from somebody else once you've figured it out <coughs> let the universe take it let the universe have it honestly um it's working so well with you at the moment that you <coughs> i 
I'm kind of getting for you, Taurus. You know, in the last few readings where I've I've kind of gone, oh gosh, you know, you're like a ball in a china shop, and you look behind you, and there's this bloody great big mess. This time, I'm kind of getting for you that this is restful, this is peaceful, this is um, enjoying stuff again. This this is. Um, <clears throat> kind of holding holding on to things but holding on to good things and letting the bad stuff just just melt away it is that that's the kind i'm just getting you've had time to stop think and and really rest up and think about how things are going um that you've now been able to say that holding on to the negative isn't any good for you so it's releasing the negative and that's what this card is all about is releasing that trap that binds you and then allowing the good which is going off and dancing with the wood nymphs come towards you that's all your celebrations and everything that you should be having so facing your fears and taking your power back so not only have you got the, the universe and the timing there you have got uh, the holly king now the Holy King is a seeker of knowledge on wisdom, spirituality, sensuality, all of that nice stuff. <clears throat> he is also described as Father Time. And when he turns up in your card, facing your fears and taking your power back, um, he's telling you it's time to do something. And what he's telling you is it's time to come out of the shadows. It's time to stop hiding away and not being the best you can be he's asking you to rejoin that pathway understand that there is a wishing well on your pathway emerge like a butterfly with dignity and grace and follow your heart's desire and if you do that is facing your fears taking your power back will be the world tree and that is your roots are very deep, very strong. You will weather any storm. You will be able to get the idea between night and day. The sun and the moon dance together as they kiss good night. And then they kiss good morning again in the morning. But also that tree splays out over every season. And what comes with every season and what goes with every season is completely different. There's also a serpent at the end or at the base of the tree that gives you the opportunity to shed old skin, to shed old ways of being, to get rid of what no longer serves you. <coughs> so my darlings, manifestation and wish fulfillment, why on earth would anyone want to manifest this it's like you really want to manifest protection but what you're manifesting is being prickly and you're slamming your hands down on that desk and you're kind of like i don't want anybody to see this this is mine i don't want to share it projects plans people whatever it is why would you be manifesting that for yourself now, the nine of wands for me is exactly that. It's, it's seeing people off. And what I'm going to say to you is, if you think that manifesting, protecting yourself um, is good for you in this particular way, with a passion and a desire, all it means is that you are going to be rejecting. You're going to be rejecting ideas from other people. You are going to be rejecting any support the universe thinks that it needs to send to you. You will be a completely closed book. So when you are manifesting this need to protect yourself, bring it into the here and now. Stop manifesting it. Stop asking for the protection and protect yourself. Do very basic protection. It is simple. You just imagine a silver cloak or a silver sheet in just engulfing you from head to foot um, and it's silver thread it's fine silver thread and it allows all the good to come in towards you while it deflects anything negative or bad 
to go away from you. That's easy. Now start manifesting. Now start putting the manifestation into the here and now. This kind of manifesting is really negative, and the more you do it, the more the universe will give you. Now, if there's a project or a plan that you need to protect, physically protect it. Don't tell anybody about it. Don't describe it to anybody. Keep it under your belt. Do not say a word to anybody. That is the only way that you're going to protect it. But, like I said, if you get into this um, energy... You are going to stop anything that the universe is sending you that they think will be of assistance to you around your projects, plan and people around your desires, your wants, your needs. So just be very careful. That's why your manifestation is probably a bit fucked. Go and have a look at... Um, did I put February? Yeah, February's um, Law of Attraction. It takes you through... Um, the stages of manifestation that you have to do. So please go and look at that. So your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. You have got the high priest. Now the high priest is coming in. He's beckoning you into the stone circles for protection. He's drawing energy down from the sun. He's got that lovely little bowl that he's stirring. But he's saying to you, come on, it's okay to be traditional. It's okay to come up with your own traditions, but it's okay to tap into what has already been written, what has already been said. There's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> he is just saying to you that if you want to follow your soul's desire, you are capable of doing that. And if that is something that you want to follow in a faith or a religion know that tradition is okay it's okay so what can you do about this situation seven of chalices the sevens for me are all our blessings options and choices but there is a little bit of um a warning with this card now all of these are yours if you want them you can choose one of them you can choose all of them but over here you've got these little faith folk whispering in your ears so what I'm going to say to you is stop listening to what other people's opinions say of what's going on around you stop listening to the gossip stop listening to that tittle tattle because if you listen and you make your decision on the strength of somebody else's words you are going to make the choice for them and not for you. <coughs> so what is out of your hands? What is the universe doing for you? They really want you to go and celebrate and they know that you're not. They are pushing, they are sending you invites you are getting people asking you to do stuff all the time and you're saying no and the universe is saying i'm going to make it out of your hands there's going to be something you're going to be invited to that you're not going to be able to say no to and if you do you know it's going to cause a lot of upset um so just be prepared for that invitation to come in now there is a second side to this and that is your resistance to having a happy time, a happy life, celebrating life yourself without restricting yourself, without that um, self-limitation that you are doing. Let your hair down. Go and have a dance. That's what the universe wants you to do. They want you to dance. They want you to be happy. They want you to love. They want you to be in a peaceful place. But they want you to share this with friends, family and community. And there is a resistance there um, of you actually doing this. So, lovelies, reconnecting to your true self, four of pentacles. Darlings, you may be saving for something, car, house, I don't know, just sort of saving money for something. You could be 
holding on to something, emotions, holding on to your home life, holding on to your career for whatever reason. Maybe you love it, maybe you don't love it, but you're holding on to it because that's what brings the money in. But emotionally, you are holding on to a person who's knocking at your door. And I get the essence that you've spent enough emotionally, mentally, physically and financially around this person. And I'm getting that to reconnect to your true self, you're going to have to be honest. You are going to have to be upfront and you are going to have to face the fact that you are holding on to these emotions. And that's what keeps bringing this person back into your energy. That's what keeps attracting this. And it may not just be one person. You just may attract the same sort of person over and over and over because you won't let go of the energy that they create around you. Now, my friend's got a really good analogy and she says it's like fountains and drains. And it's almost like you're the fountain and they're the drain. And then when you stop and think and you're like, hell no, I'm holding on to this. It's mine. It's not theirs. That's when you get the ump. That's when you decide to earth yourself out, dig your fucking hooves in and tell somebody where to go. Whereas if you started on the right foot, and didn't give as much of yourself. I'm not saying don't give anything of yourself. I'm saying don't give as much of yourself so quickly when you first meet somebody. Um, you will stand yourself in a much better position, an earthed position, a position of being able to nurture a relationship with somebody. But what they're saying is, is Stop yourself from holding on. Stop being a miser, whether it is financially, emotionally, mentally. Because you're only hurting yourself by allowing these people to keep coming in, draining you and then putting you back into that energy that you need to hold on to everything for dear life. You don't. <coughs> So lovelies, your last card, your outcome, king of a fame is. Now this could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Now this person is going to be highly intelligent, highly intuitively, highly qualified in their field of endeavour. <coughs> Normally you would find them, I'm so sorry about this coughing, it's driving me mad. Normally you would find them in an advisory capacity, lawyer, solicitor, advocate, doctor, nurse, social worker, police officer, all of those sort of things where there is advice being given. This particular person though, for me, this, this one card tells me there may be something legal that you need to pay attention to. But let me tell you, the person that you're dealing with has attention to detail. They don't like the he said, she said. They don't like the playground bullshit that goes on. They will cut away all of that and they will get down to the bare bones, the bare facts of the matter. So whatever it is that is around you that you feel you need to take legal advice, it may be that it's going to be informal legal advice or it could be um, <coughs> formal legal advice. But there is a decision here to be made about whether or not you take an issue further or you let sleeping dogs lie. At the bottom of the deck, what's hidden from you, you have the three of wands. You've been waiting around on this do docks for quite some time. You've been waiting patiently. You've been waiting for this ship to come in. Um, and it could be that you're waiting for stock from another country or you're sending stock out to another country and you're waiting for that confirmation that it's got there but you've been waiting really patiently now for me the number th the three of wands is to do with projects and plans it's, it's to do with new businesses new startups um <clears throat> you could be waiting on a person and although it's a very old-fashioned depiction you could be waiting for that email to come in. You could be waiting for a text message. 
you could be waiting for a phone call. Um, whatever it means for you, just know that it's not that far away. It's at the bottom of the deck. It's hidden from you at the moment, but um, it's on its way to you. Let's ask the Whispering Woods if they've got anything to add to the reading, please, for Taurus. Thank you. And it's giving you light. Look to the space between the trees for the answers. Let's ask the angels and the ancestors if they've got some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for Taurus for this week, the 21st through to the 28th. Thank you. Of February for Taurus, please. Anything else? <clears throat> so Taurus you have got night be brave and honest you have great teacher learn from spiritual experiences you have water guardian connect with your emotions and lastly you have wise one grow within your current situation Darlings, just remember the universe is on your side. Just say it out loud what it is that you need or that you want and allow the universe to work with you on that. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.